Hello, I hope you're very well. So this week's video is going to be talking about medical needling. And I've had so many questions lately. So I want to take the opportunity to try and answer some, um, clear up some confusion with others. So we're going to be talking about medical needling, why you might want to look at working towards um, qualifying for this procedure, why I love it so much, and why it's not for everyone. Yeah. Uh, so we'll start with, um, I'm currently doing my course of medical needling and I've completed my second one. So my skin is recovering. I'm the second day into recovery. And what I'm experiencing is my skin is a little tight a lot of the dead skin is coming up to the top. There's still a little bit of inflammation in some eyelids and key areas. So my skin has got a little bit of that wound healing cycle in play. Um, and it's, it's literally turning over. So currently I have a lot of vitamins, my skincare underneath. And I've got a combination of the Environ Rad SPF on with the Oxygenetics Healing Foundation. Which takes a little bit of the pinkness out of the skin. But you can see there's a massive difference between my skin and my neck um, where I just didn't do deep needling because I'm going to do my decolletage as a separate treatment where normally when I'm proceeding, uh, treating a client, they'll get uh, full face, neck to the collarbones and the back of the hands completed where I'm doing mine a little bit different. So I'll do a lot of those areas when I do my decolletage. So what is it and why am I so confused about why everyone can't qualify for it because I get this question a lot like oh I'd love to do needling can I start tomorrow or oh I'd like to have my own medical device what brand do you recommend mm. <laughs> okay so let's start there um so what is medical needling so it is a procedure if it has the word medical it's not for home use why because it should be designed by or, or wielded by a professional because you are creating a wound and you're working within the dermal structure and that's where our DNA lives and, and we don't want to play with that. You could do a lot of harm. Um, and the goal of this is to make the skin younger and more bulletproof to the environment, especially living in Australia, and not more sensitive. So definitely it needs to be only in the hands of a practitioner it's kind of going to a surgeon and just saying oh it doesn't look too hard i might give that a crack um yeah we wouldn't even consider that we would not consider operating on ourselves and i definitely do not recommend doing medical needling on yourself don't be confused with home rolling home rolling is completely different so when you see people with a roller that is just a product penetration tool it is not doing anything in the dermis it's barely getting in into your epidermis which is if you think of a got two um, um, like layers in the skin so we've got the epidermal structure which consists of five layers and that's as thin as a piece of paper so it's pretty thin and then you have the dermis level where the blood and the papillaries live and to create a wound you need to get into that dermal level because the only reason medical needling works is because you are creating micro wounds in the, the papillary level where all the blood is. And then we're working off a system which basically regenerates or repairs the skin. What I think is fascinating, Harvard University was studying um, basically how to biohack our biological aging. Um, and they came across, they were studying salamandra's tails. So they're those lizards that drop their tail and then uh, they grow a new one. Amazing, right? So they actually found in our blood, the human blood, we have a little bit of that capability where we can regenerate ourselves, but it needs an antagonist, which means it needs a little bit of positive stress or wound. Um, so that's what I'm really doing. When I'm creating medical needling, I'm creating a temporary wound in the dermis where the papillaries and the blood live. So a home roller is never going to do that. And that's not its job. Its job is to more make micro channels to help your skincare get in and on that note if you're wanting to get skincare in make sure your skincare is made of what your skin's made of you don't want to be pushing a lot of plant-based products into your skin that haven't been designed to absorb or if they have got a lot of irritants histamines and so forth or chemicals you don't want to be pushing a lot of nasty ingredients into your skin because that's only going to defeat the purpose of micro needling so micro needling 
I say only in Byron. If you're using combination skincare, don't bother um, because you don't want to be pushing it that deep into the body. But when you're using micro, when you're using Environ and you've got that clean, really active ingredients that our body's made of and depleted of, yeah, needle home rolling is great because it actually helps the products to get from 9% penetration if you're not needling right up to 100% if you're home rolling. But medical needling is not designed to just help product penetration it's designed to regenerate human tissue just like those uh, lizards that drop their tail you're actually creating that irritation to the skin and you're stimulating a wound healing cycle so when i create a wound in the body the body regrows its natural collagen elastin and you're thickening the skin so if our skin's naturally thinning with age and now um, it's a waterproofing organ what needling does it actually makes you absorb everything again like my skin i needle um, i do six treatments every 12 months and this year i normally do it in august so that's my needling time of the year but this year i push it right out to november because of um personal reasons i just didn't have time to do my own treatments um so what i noticed in that period of time between august and november my skin was just plateauing out and i was getting a little bit frustrated so all my home rolling and my different cool peels and different things i do to help products get in they just weren't working and some of my personal uh, skin problems were starting to poke their little head back up and i've turned 40 recently which means i've got to work harder um, to keep the skin younger and healthier and thicker and not having disease so i was so excited to do to start my course of needling last week so i'm two in so i'll be performing six treatments seven days apart roughly and this way i'm biohacking the wound so they found when i was studying um in Harvard, the, the study showed that the wound healing cycle is roughly eight weeks for most people. And the healthier the body, the more you're going to get out of the procedure, right? So if you're relying on the body to rebuild itself, you want to make sure first the body has the right nutrients to repair. So there's no point doing needling unless you've got a healthy vitamin um, induced skin. So that's why a new client, there's no point doing needling. It's not going to help you if you haven't been using good quality skincare, if you haven't been preparing the organ to have all of those steps prior to this. So that's why it isn't something that you just have done. It's something you should qualify for because if you create a wound in an unhealthy skin, not only could it be just a waste of your time and money, it also will be very disappointing the results the body will repair because you're relying on the body to repair itself. And this might be a side note, but there was a hospital in a very low economic area and they noticed all their patients who were just not healing from the surgeries. It was, it was a real big problem. This was actually in Canada, this study. And what they did is they actually put in a nutrition program where they had pre-made nutrition packed meals, which were all sort of homemade um, vegetable, antioxidant, protein, healthy fat balanced meals and they were actually given to the patients and the difference in the recovery was absolutely amazing so the same with our skin our skin's predominantly made of antioxidants and vitamins and when those nutrition is depleted we are going to have issues in how the skin divides and how the skin deals with disease how the immune system works in the skin and so on and so forth so if you're creating a wound and you're expecting the wound to repair itself younger and stronger and more beautiful than before you're kidding yourself if you're going to do that in an unhealthy skin so that's my question why would you want to invest in a course of medical needling especially something i do which is quite intense um, if you don't have healthy skin to begin with why wouldn't you want to fix that first which is a lot cheaper and it's going to look fantastic in the mirror and then save up and qualify for medical needling because i know we live in this world where we want everything it's like that person's doing that so i want that now um, but we have to learn a bit of patience because this skin has to represent you for the rest of your life and if we're investing in anything we want it to make the skin younger and stronger more bulletproof to the extreme of australian conditions and we also want it to basically heal itself and that's 
the whole amazing thing about holistic skincare. Um, when you're looking holistically at the body, it's designed to heal and repair itself. I'm just creating an environment for it to do that. Kind of like that old saying, if you don't use it, you lose it. So the same applies here. If we are wanting to repair our skin, we have to create a controlled stress and a healthy tissue and then watch the body do the work. Um, the reason I share on Instagram my journey with my skin, it's not to incentivize you to go out and find one of these medical devices, which I pray that you cannot because that would be scary. Um, it is to simply um, show you the wound healing time, the downtime, because it can be a little bit scary for a new person. A lot of my advanced students do it every year. It's very addictive. It's very effective. It's worth its weight in gold. But when you're new to it, it can be a little bit scary and it's good to see someone else go through it. So I share myself because I don't mind sharing my personal journey, uh, where a lot of clients don't want to show that, which is absolutely fine. So that's why I share. It's not to uh, invite you to go out and find these devices and do them yourself. It's just to make you aware of what it would take to heal um, but I really <laughs> hope that makes sense because um, that question comes up a lot people see it and they think oh I could do that it looks easy and I highly recommend there is so much amazing things you can do at home but medical kneeling is not one of them so I'd be looking at how what skincare I'm using um, and how can I improve its ability to absorb because it's not always what you're applying, it's often what you're absorbing, which is going to make the biggest difference. Once I do a course of medical needling to my skin, I find my skincare absorbs very efficiently and the tissue repairs for 12 months. So it, it literally means that my results are ongoing. Anyway, I hope that helps. Have a lovely day.